right, we're going to start with GarageBand. So this is the main screen here. Um, we're going to start with a new project. Um, and just to kind of get the basic idea of where things are, we're going to start with Songwriter. So you can either highlight Songwriter and click on Choose or just double click on Songwriter. And it'll open up a new window for you. So if you've used GarageBand before, you'll notice that this setup is different than the way it used to be. Um, this is, there's a lot of things going on. So first I'm going to show you how to remove everything so you can kind of get down to uh, where everything's at. So our button's up here. I'm going to click on Library so that goes away. I'm going to click on the uh, Editor here so that bottom part goes away. And now I just have my track. So this is basic audio going across the top here. and each different track is a different instrument, obviously, and each one has its own options. Um, so we'll start with the drums and show you what drums can do. If I'm so, if I hit play here, this is a just a pre-made little track of drums playing, and very basic. Um, and this was all uh, automatically done with uh, their new uh, drum kit uh, sort of uh, autopilot type thing. So I'm going to click on the editor here and I'm going to go ahead and drag my slider and this tells me what time. If you notice up here this time changes as I'm going through here. So this is measure one, beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. They call it bars over here. If you want to jump you can always click on here or double click on here and move up and say I want to go to bar 12 B4 and it jumps over to bar 12 B4 for me. Um, so that's just uh, keeping your where you're at in your time. So down here, let's we're going over the drum thing. So the this is the kit that I have is the Southern Cali kit. That's just what auto loaded with mine. Yours might be different. If I want a different sound, um, so we have multiple drummers and multiple presets per each drummer. So we're going to stick with Kyle here, um, and he's got Crash the Party. And if you can watch up here closely, and I'm, all I'm doing up here is on my trackpad is starting with my fingers close together and then moving them apart, and it zooms out. Um, so then the same thing opposite, if I have my fingers two fingers far apart and bring them together, it zooms back out. So as I change... Here, this will help change the pattern. So if you watch in this area here, you see all these different uh, instruments doing it. So if I hit Crash the Party, these are the, mainly he's going to be hitting my toms and the kick and the snare right here. And this tells you how complicated they're going to be, how much more he's going to play it. If I have it one, he's not going to play the toms very much. Two, he's going to play a medium. And three, he's going to play on the toms a lot. And that's adjustable. Um, but most of these are um, in that way. So the same thing down here. So if I want half pipe and this square over here, so say I want it, okay, so I want more hi hat, and this tells you how he's going to play those. So if I want to play soft and very simple, I would go to this corner. So you see my grid here, and if I want him to play, so it's pretty basic right now. If you look up here, at the top not very many notes. If I go over here, I'm still soft but complex. It should update and it'll give me a few more things to play with and if I go louder you see the they get bigger and so he's playing louder and hitting harder. Um, so each one's different. So that's just within each drummer. Um, there's also the number of fills. If I turn this dial and all I'm doing is I'm going to click on the dial here and I'm going to go up. Most people want to try and follow it and then it kind of goes backwards. It's actually you click on it, it goes up to go to turn the dial up, and down to turn it down. As I go up to the fills, you can see that it jumps around here. And so that's the ends of the measure that he's going to add little extra beats or extra hits as those are fills. So if you're wanting more of that, um, this is where he's kind of sitting at now. Pretty basic. I'd like a little more complex here. It changed automatically up here. Um, and I know he's doing what's called straight eighth notes. What I can do is I can go down to this here and add 
swing, so it's going to change the feel, is to start swinging those beats. It feels a little more jazzy if I do the swung. And it's again levels of swing. If you want 16th note swing, it's a little more complicated. Hopefully you're hearing this okay. If again, if I don't want it, then I click on the middle, bring it down. It goes back to straight eighth notes. If I want less noise, more of a relaxed drum back in the background, I can go simple and soft. It'll slow down. If I want less of that hi-hat, if I want to add clapping, I'm just going to click on him. And you hear a little bit of clapping in the background now. So that's sort of what you can do with the one drummer. Now, the presets again, are on this side. If you click on the picture, there's lots of different 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 drummers, and these so these are all your rock drummers. If I want to go to alternative, these are alternative drummers, um, songwriters, R&B, and they each have their own uh, presets. So I'm going to change drummer here. Is this Benny? And Benny's an R&B drummer, and so he's using more tambourine the hi-hat, snare, and kick, and you see he's not, he's got more swing, and this is just the defaults. He's got a little bit of fills and a little bit of swing. So that's how Kenny sounds, or Benny, excuse me, Benny sounds right off the bat. I'm not crazy about the tambourine. I'm gonna take tambourine off. Um, he can play some more of the toms. So all I did was take the tambourine off, click on the, the toms here up top, and we'll see how that changes the sound. And I like that, it's a pretty cool funky beat there. And we've got 16th note swing and a little bit of fill. I like my drummers to have, they can experiment, so I'm gonna give them some more fills in there. So he's got some more interesting, um, so and that's just drummers. Um, we'll stop here, I want you to experiment, try several different drummers, different styles, move things around it's okay um, if you're like oh, I mess things up and I don't like the way it sounds go to the presets here so if I go over here drop the beat and I mess around with stuff and I'm like oh, I don't like it then I go with neon go back to drop the beat and it goes back to the, how it was before I touched it so um, you really can't mess it up so try and that's where the, the idea with this is to experiment and see what sounds good to you um, if you're using this for, say, a video, um, then drums are actually quite an important part because it sets the pace. If you're wanting it to be faster, this would be, be the BPM here, or the beats per minute. So um, usually 120 is a, an allegro pace, and so it's quite a bit faster. So it feels kind of more of a funk here, 120. Um, really hurried if I wanted to slow it down. Say I'll go to about 70, um, and so this will be quite a bit different. Exact same drummer, just different beat. So it feels more laid back um, and in the pocket kind of. Um, I kind of like this one, so I'm going to let this one play out at the end of this video and try and experiment. That's all there is right now. So take 5-10 minutes, try some different drummers and different sounds and see what you like.